Hi, everybody, and welcome to AI Audibles and Outreach Networking. Right now with me is my longtime friend, Ron Horry, who's been a, a comrade in helping me to develop new ways to make business networkers successful. And I've got a way that I'm actually going to share with Ron uh, that I will, I believe will, uh, I'm going to be working on a platform. The idea is to either achieve or come as close to possible as possible to guaranteed success. And, and I believe it's possible to do that. The only way that I can see that anyone could fail with this program that I'm developing is if they fail to learn and some people do, or they quit. But if you continue in this process, it will eventually, in my experience, lead to success. So good morning, Ron, and welcome. Good morning. Always great to see you, my friend. So life is good at FinFit Life? Yes, yes, we're moving ahead. All right, very good. So what I want to do today, Ron, is I want to generate some outreach media for outreach networking, uh, and you and I working together on it to reach out to other business networkers with content that I've already created and content that I'm going to be creating with you to get your feedback on some of my ideas. And the idea is to help people get used to you uh, as a networker, because you're great with helping people to connect with other people and, uh, helping people to improve their life with fin fit life and it's all about you know where i am in my stage for me it's all about mental health physical health spiritual health and monetary health and we want to help people to uh, achieve all of those kind of things so what i'm doing i'm focusing just so people understand on two things one number one by far is simply outreach business networking but number two for me I am also integrating AI or artificial intelligence. Don't worry. You don't have to worry about learning anything about it if you want nothing to do with it. I am learning it. I am using it to help people with outreach business networking if they want to learn anything about AI or not. Some people do. Some people don't. I think some people will want to learn more about it later on. But right now, they just want to learn how can I get more out of my networking activities? So first of all, let me ask you about that, Ron. You and I both go to networking events. Would you agree that one of the keys is to uh, helping people become more successful with networking is to reach out to other people after networking events? Oh, absolutely, Mike. I think you have a great point there because there's that age-old saying that the fortune is in the follow-up. And I think one of the key things that I practice is really looking at developing a relationship. It's not making making a pitch, making a sale, one and done, take the money and run. Well, I just made that up. It actually rhymes. It really was good. I was saying, hey, that's pretty good. So you're just fun. But the, but the idea is not to just look at a person with dollar signs written all over them, but, you know, how can I help them uh, understand, in fact, well, really quickly, you know, if I if I meet somebody very briefly on a Zoom networking or whatever online and set up a follow up, let's say it's 30 minutes. I may spend 15 or 20 minutes just listening to them. And then they might ask me, oh, Ron, what do you do? And then we may run out of time. And to me, that's OK, because I want to find out more about them. What are what are their goals? What are their values? But uh, I think, you know, definitely you're onto something in terms of the not only the follow up, but how do you elegantly follow up with somebody without the intention of trying to, but with the intention of being of service and not just making a sale. Super serve the super interested. From a practical standpoint, uh, one thing that a lot of people don't understand is that the person actually listening is in charge of the conversation. They don't get that. Uh, the more you learn about that other person, um, you know, to help them, it's a little bit like them handing you the that long black uh, handle to their little red wagon with them riding in it. When you understand <laughs> where they, you know, what what's it, what's their little red wagon? You can lead them if you have the handle anywhere you want them to go. And of course, you want to be able to help them. And I'm talking to everybody now. Uh, so the more that you can learn about them, the more you can lead them to what they really want to achieve. And you can fit in what you have to offer to what they really want to achieve. So uh, thanks for sharing about that. I can use Claude AI on my telephone. I can dictate right into Claude AI for messaging. 
that will really, really, really help me tremendously in my outreach networking, both initially and of course in outreach, you never know, you know, who you're going to run into, or some people are just not interested in something or whatever. And some people can be rude. And what I have found is by not replying to however they respond to anything, I instead go to Claude and go, this is what this person said. How would you respond to them? And I put it all on Claude and it takes out all the emotion. Claude tends to be very neutral, general, kind of ideal, like you're a real clear thinker. And you can take whatever Claude tells you to say and kind of respond back. And that is a great way to not lose a friend by you know responding in anger or a potential friend and, and putting that reply in and keeping the relationship going. Claude is absolutely brilliant at that. And that way you never have to worry about, you know, receiving any kind of negativity or any negative response. You all, always have Claude to help you out. So let me open up Claude. And now this is my learning curve as well. Let me open up Claude on my phone. Okay, so I have Claude right here on my phone. Now I'm going to dictate in just like I did. And we should be able to get your response. So let's give it a shot. Hello, Claude. This is Mike. And I want you to help me write a letter from business networkers from me and do it in the first person as me, Mike Hayes, so that I can reach out to other business networkers and tell them about the importance of outreach business networking and how we are going to help them to learn how to do it, how to understand it, and how to really stand out from other business networkers by using outreach business networking. Right now, I'm going to ask my friend Ron Horry of FinFit Life for his comments and see if we can input Ron's comments into my Claude AI bot and see if we can input Ron's thoughts and fuse them together through AI. So Ron, what are your thoughts on this? Mike, I think you're exactly right on in terms of just doing the follow-up. I didn't realize that only one out of 100 people actually do that. And I think it's not just the first follow-up. It's a series of connections to create that relationship. So I think you're, you're exactly on point. And in using Claude, which, you know, this is my first exposure to Claude. You know, I think it's a great tool to be able to elegantly reach out to somebody after you met them for the first time. All right. I want to thank my friends, Ron Horry and Claude, because now, Claude, I'm going to ask you to generate and fuse together Ron's best thoughts on this topic and my best thoughts. And then I'm going to share it with the, our audience, not only here in the event, but in outreach networking. OK, we got it. So Claude recorded you, Ron, and by using both the, the desktop and zoom and my phone that's how i was able to make it all work together and now i can take claude and this is giving me a really long message now so what i'll do i will now share i'm going to use claude as my teleprompter in my notes and i'm going to go ahead and give a little presentation and you and i will together talk about this as an outreach business networking video so i will call this an ai audible and we'll give it a shot. And we will start this coming in three, two, one. Hello, business networkers, business leaders. Right now, we want to have a little chat with you asynchronously about outreach business networking. I'm here now with my friend, Ron Horry. And Ron and I just did a little bit of an experiment for you to teach you all about business networking. Now, what we did, we used AI. You don't have to use AI. We're going to teach you how you can do better business networking, better outreach business networking with or without AI. What we did is we use my AI that I use and I prefer. It's called Claude AI. I did my input. And what, what's beautiful about Claude, and I can talk about the creativity, how much fun you can have with the creativity by fusing multiple brains together, but also with multiple hearts this is very important as well. It will fuse everything together. So what we did is we recorded right here live on this Zoom call right now. We just did it, right, Ron? Yes. Okay. So now I'm going to read it 
and I'm going to ask Ron for his comments. So I'm going to use this as my teleprompter, as my notes, and I'm going to share it with you right now. Here's what Claude AI put out for us. Listen to this. Dear business networkers, this is my case reaching out to connect and share some thoughts on the power of outreach and networking to grow our businesses together. As Ron wisely pointed out, it's not just about the initial introduction. It's about consistently nurturing relationships over time that leads to success. One meaningful follow-up after meeting someone new is good, but really it's about developing a series of thoughtful touch points to turn contacts into connections, into clients. This could be sharing an article that reminds you of them, introducing them to someone else in your network. That could be mutually beneficial or just checking in every so often to see how they're doing. And if so, that can be of service. It's so important we don't treat people like transactions, but rather build genuine relationships, which is exactly what gives us and enables us to start doing. Having an AI assistant can help craft relevant, personalized messages and schedule follow-ups. This can be game-changing. I'm excited about the power of AI to supercharge our outreach and really take our networking to the next level. When we network intentionally, nurture relationships, and consistently add value, great things can happen. I know each of you has so much to offer, so let's leverage the power of connection. I'm here to support you in any way. Please don't hesitate to reach out. Looking forward to growing together, my case. And now, Ron, please give us your comments. Actually, I'm speechless. You know, that was only that, you know, just the additional insights that Claude added to, you know, what you said and what I said is totally amazing. It's like talking to a consultant <clears throat> and receiving that feedback. So it seems like, <clears throat> especially compared to the AI bots I may have used already, that is amazing. Well, one, one of the reasons it's amazing, I'm going to have to be sharing over time, and I'll just give a quick thumbnail of this, uh, but I'm going to be expanding this. The, what AI has given me is a gift of something that they could literally, and I, I don't say this lightly, but if you really stack up all of the millions of dollars worth of content that I've gathered over 30 years of interviewing the world's most successful entrepreneurs and business professionals and and leaders of all kinds. I, I spent 30 years researching. This would have all gone away uh, unless if it hadn't been for AI where I can program every interview and every book that they have told me to read into my proprietary AI that I call AI Peak Performers. This would all have been lost, but instead it's all gathered together and melded together. And I'm going to be explaining this. This to me is more valuable than the documentary, The Secret, because it really comes together and it compresses time. It compresses multiple brains. But here's the other thing that is really important. And this is important, Ron, because there's so many different people that are afraid to outreach. They're afraid to make sales. They're afraid that they're not going to be able to live ethically and honestly uh, unless they really get in there and sell something. But what I've also programmed into my bot is all of the, the world's greatest hearts in history. So I, I've taken the spoken words of Jesus, of uh, Muhammad, of Moses, of Martin Luther King, and, and, and many other of the world's greatest leaders, and I have also prompted them into my A, AI bot so that everyone can earn their income in a way that is effective, but also ethical and honest and straightforward. So if they have any fears about out reaching out, I really think this is gonna solve really everyone's fear. Many people have a fear of what's called the uh, imposter syndrome. Well, you know, you don't have to be ready. You don't have to be able, uh, you only have to be willing. And so if you are willing to put yourself out there and learn how to perfect yourself, uh, I think this is really a great way to go about it. So what are your thoughts on all of that? 
Well, Mike, it's interesting that you mentioned that people have this fear maybe of being an imposter, the imposter syndrome in terms of reaching out. But I think what you said also is having the right intention, the right ethical intention, the right attitude or mindset about being of service, not just looking at the next dollar, the next transaction. And like Claude said, it's a matter of um, the sequential communication uh, points in terms of adding value. And then, you know, there's that saying of know you, like you, trust you. And it, it happens over time. It doesn't happen on just one networking event or just one follow-up. So I think um, I've never thought about uh, being fearful about approaching somebody because I feel that, you know, I want to be of service primarily. That's why I listen more than I talk to someone I may have just met. So I think if people do have that fear, and I think it's reasonable to have that fear, is that, you know, the number one fear is the fear of rejection. And to integrate that mindset and that heart set into why are you really following up with that person? I think that can definitely alleviate those fears. And then, of course, people will respond in however they respond. But I think if we approach the, the follow-up conversation with the right mental attitude of being in service, I think that's a real key to overcoming that fear. Well, I think for you, who's got such a great heart and a service heart, this is going to allow you to let people know. They can't just instantly know about this about you. They have to learn it, that you can super serve your prospects, your clients, and your networking friends in commerce because you have the capability and the willingness to do that. And they won't know that unless you demonstrate that to them. And you're going to be able to do that, not only with the philosophy, the strategies, but also the technology. So for me, that's what is so exciting to be able to share Ron Horry and Ron Horry's brain and heart with the world because he is willing to super serve. And I'm so happy to be able to help you put that that demonstration of that fact out there, Ron. Well, one comment I would have, too, is, you know, I've been a student of communication most of my life because I'm basically an introvert. Sometimes I say I'm a recovering analytical. So I had to learn how to communicate with people and studying topics like emotional intelligence, you know, was very popular a while ago, but just understanding how and all the different behavioral styles, you know, with all these four letter acronyms that describe different people. So you don't communicate just with, with in your, in my own style, you know, I have, ways to understand these at least four different types of behavioral styles and communicate to people in the style that makes them most comfortable. And it's not about manipulation. It's more about rapport building. So I think AI is great. Just also for me, uh, I would recommend people really be a student of communication, which means reading books, listening to YouTube, maybe hiring communication coaches. You know, there's a wealth of free information available just on the relationship building process, not just in business, but how about in your personal life, talking to your partner, your spouse, your kids, you know, I'll get off my soapbox on that. But I think it's, to me, it's uh, constant learning, constant improvement, trying to get 1% better every day. So those are my thoughts on really taking to heart how you really want, if you have the intention of really com wanting to communicate and add value, then there's a process to learn how to do that. Ron, who should reach out to you and start uh, running through my mind uh, because you are such a student of communication and you also are a representative of FinFit Life. But so many other people should reach out to you in terms of referrals, connections, and just learning from your experience and networking with you, how you can be referral partners or all kinds of different things. Who would be ideal that you would like to invite to reach out to you? That's a good question, Mike, because one of the primary things, so FinFit Life, for those who may not have heard of it, our tagline is we're about financial fitness, physical fitness, and lifestyle. And a short version of that is we want to help people improve their health, also build their wealth through financial literacy, and also create a business platform if they choose to. So we want to reach out to clients, and especially underserved middle America, you might say, because most of the larger financial institutions, you may typically need to have $500,000 in assets in order to be considered as a client. And so the average middle American family or um, business professional or employee is off the radar of companies that you know are offering the type of edu financial education and health education 
that we want to provide to the average person. So we reach out to clients. And also in terms of referral partners, you know, we operate all over the U.S. We're expanding in Canada and also the Philippines. So we want to reach out to business um, people who have clients that they they learn that, you know, we have a service and products that can add value to their clients. And if they're willing to learn how we can partner together, people can uh, receive referral commissions or even create another profit center inside their current business. So we are all about adding value to individuals and adding value to our referral partners. All right. Well, I'm going to talk a little bit about my brand new YouTube channel for a minute and how it can really help people right now who are listening with free publicity. So let me explain it. This my YouTube channel is not about growing some vast, huge audience at all. Uh, it really is about super serving entrepreneurs, business leaders and business networkers in this way. I'm going to be putting out a lot of very, very short tips about outreach business networking. What I really want to do, though, is encourage people to be interactive with me. Go to the YouTube channel, hopefully like it, subscribe to it, and comment. What I'd like to do is this. Anybody that will be interactive with me and put their questions into the comments, I will watch the comments. And if you put your name, your company, and you know a little bit about you, what you're trying to do with AI, I'm going to be teaching those things, both outreach networking and AI on YouTube. And if you will do that, then what I will do is I will create a video about you, about your question, about your background. So you will get instant publicity or what I call AI publicity expressed. Just by being interactive with me, you'll get your question answered. You'll get publicity about yourself. I will post that comment in, both in comments, but also on my YouTube channel. So just tell me, Mike, you have permission to post this on your YouTube channel because it really is all about reaching out, putting things out there as you know as much as we possibly can, but really getting a very, very tight focus on who we can super serve. So that's the benefit of making this YouTube channel for business networkers and outreach business networking, super focused, but also super beneficial to give you as much publicity so we can all work together. Does that make sense or any thoughts or questions about that? Oh, it makes total sense. And uh, what's the name of your channel? I, I will post it in the chat box um, so that you can uh, have that. And I will post it on YouTube just so everybody can uh, have it. But it basically, if you search on YouTube, AI audibles. Now, AI audibles are like a coach calling in an audible, like a quarterback can call an audible. Because you know what, Ron? It's funny. I love that name because AI is changing so fast that we might be heading down one way and something new comes up. we got to call in an audible. No, no, no. This is brand new. Like this new platform called Heartbeat. It just came up. It's the speed networking, brand new. So we got to call in an audible on that. We'll be calling audibles all day long. And you can actually create eBooks with audibles. You can do virtually anything that you really want to do when you learn how to do AI audibles. It's going to be absolutely fun. And I think it's going to be the way that I can create and uh, virtually a a guaranteed success, almost you can't fail with this system. It's test, observe, it just expand, unless you fail to learn or quit. I'm very, very excited about it. So there's about a million and a half reasons to subscribe to the channel, and I'm going to be putting them out there and using AI audibles as a way to show people how fast they can create content. So there's a lot to share. We can't do it all today, but thanks for joining me, Ron. Right here on my pleasure. Thank you, Mike. Thanks for joining me. Right here on AI Audibles, along with Ron Hori of FinFit Life. I'm Mike Hayes. Thanks for joining me. But I'm bum. All right, Ron. We that did was it. great. That was great. Yeah, in fact, when you explained uh audibles in terms of a sports metaphor, you know, I think that makes perfect sense because when I think of audibles, I just think of oh, you know, listening, um, things like that. But I think, you know, the auto, I'm thinking about, okay, um, let's say you're going from point A to point B and you're driving, you're using your GPS. Okay. Well, if there's something happening on the route, you know, it'll reroute you. Right. So you don't keep going. That's cool. That, yeah. What, what's that app? It's called, I forget the name of that app. It'll tell you, oh, there's, there's police up ahead. There's a detour. Go this way. Instead like of that speed way. trap coming. Yeah. 
So, so, that, so the is, explanation of the audibles, you know, that makes more sense to me or it makes sense because I was thinking of it just in terms of listening. Good, good. Well, see, and this is the kind of feedback that I get, uh, you know, by doing this on an ongoing basis that I have to explain, um, you know, exactly what audibles is. And uh, that's a good tip. So, yeah, I, would, I think that's yeah. a key thing, you know, too. And then, you know, most people, especially guys, will understand that metaphor, especially in football, right? Yeah, and the quarterback, and it makes them a leader. And, uh, you know, that uh, now you can use AI audibles, Ron, for everybody you're networking with. You could actually uh, build that story up a little bit more about, look, we're all, things are changing so fast. You know, I want to be your quarterback. I, Ron Horry, want to be your quarterback and send you some AI audibles to keep you on track. And I think you could really kind of build that up as somebody that stays on track to be able to super serve your clients. One of my thoughts is to talk about, I teach AI business networking for really, really smart people and for really, really dumb people. And you're invited. <laughs> you yeah. can figure out if you are a really smart person or a really dumb person. The, the funny thing about it is we're all really dumb people when it comes to AI because AI is just so so more brilliant than any of us that we're all just dummies, uh, you know, when it comes to AI. And uh, well, that reminds me of the whole uh, mastermind principle. You know, I think it comes from Think and Grow Rich. You know, whenever two or more people gather together, there is a third mind and it's a mastermind that's created by that mental energy from people who are already there. That's that's amazing. That's great. It's a great understanding. I mean, certainly I've been around masterminds my whole life, but I never quite realized that component out of Think and Go Rich about that third mind. And to be able to have that third mind, not just be out in the universe someplace, but really be grounded, captured as a teammate and be AI. That is that kind of third mind mastermind that really connects everything. And I, I also think that it's it's so solid and real that it's actually going to help the laws of the universe. I call it the law of attract or law of intelligence to really help people manifest things in their life much, much faster by being uh, you know, able to amplify their desires and their wishes and their feelings uh, out to the universe to help them to attract everything they want. I have a quick question, Mike. You say you know, you've been adding all this content to your bot. Which yeah. bot do you use? I use multiple bots, and I also use programmers. So I use a whole team, but uh, my favorite bot is, uh, is this one. And that is Claude. And I'll tell you what, it, 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 there's multiple reasons that it's my favorite. But the other thing is, is like, think of this, like what you just said about uh, two people creating a third one. I actually use multiple bots. So I could use two different bots coming together, their input, and put that into a third bot. So everything becomes kind of the best of the best of the best of all different things. What I like about Claude are multiple things. We could take the entire transcript of this meeting and put it into claw.ai. You can take, you know, an entire book chapter and put it into claw.ai. Um, it, it will swallow, you know, like if you were gonna eat an elephant, you could, they say you can only eat it one bite at a time, but what if you could eat it with much, much, much bigger bites, then you could really, uh, you know, digest it much faster and this is the amazing, the one, the only, Dr. Greg Sanders. Dr. Greg, welcome. Well, hi. Hey, Greg. How you doing, Ron? Doing great. We've been having some exciting conversations here. Well, that's good. Uh, with Mike, every conversation is exciting. <laughs> this is even more exciting than usual. Okay. Okay. We've been talking with this about new, uh, new introduction that uh, Mike is going to talk about. Good. Good. Pretty powerful things. Now, one of the other things. And I'm going to, Greg, this is totally out of the blue for you, but for sure. Rob, it might make more sense because he has been involved in this discussion about how AI can really combine very disparate things in a very unique way. And uh, you've just experienced that. Am I right, Ron? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Now let me tell, I'm going to talk to Ron about this, but you can listen in, Greg, because it'll make more sense to him. It probably won't make much sense to you. 
What I really want to do, Ron, I'm having so much fun with this. It is nuts. Now, let me explain how I'm having fun. Okay, a lot of people, when they retire, maybe they paint or they grab some hobby or they do something, this or that or the other thing, uh, and they just have fun with it. And then they learn about painting and everything else as they're going along. Now, there's two ways that I can teach uh, outreach business networking and also teach AI in little incremental steps. Or there's another way that I can do it that I've discovered that is just mind boggling. And I literally mean that. And I'll, I'll explain it to you. What I did, because I want to communicate with all of my kids in, in the level that they need to be communicated with to help them. Now, my daughter, Megan, is brilliant and she has brilliant friends like they've gone to MIT and they've gone to become attorneys, you know, and they're amazing young women. Uh, one of them went on a, a world bike tour and fell and uh, off her bike and developed neurological problems. And she's still brilliant, but her energy is very, very limited. And I wanted to communicate uh, with my daughter on her own level. She is a huge fan of Taylor Swift and she is a huge fan of Harry Potter. So I said to AI, and this was for fun. I said, AI, I'd like you to develop a Harry Potter style story but I want you to put Taylor Swift into the, the book series and, and kind of incorporate two of her passions to teach a little bit more about what is possible with AI so that she can teach her friend uh, who is, has limited energy how AI can give you unlimited energy. And just like that, AI created this story like Harry Potter and da 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 and Taylor Swift involved in it and them all sol solving the problem together. She, her mind was blown. She was so thankful. Dad, thanks. This is such a great message. So I was able to connect with her on her two passions in a way that could tell the story. And I only say that not to get it off topic or anything, but to let people know what, the, when you see something like that, you see the unlimited potential of AI. So what we're asking it to do is so tiny in comparison to what it can do, that that becomes a very great demonstration and it's more fun so i want to teach ai with creativity and with fun so I, i'm just having so much fun but i'm also communicating with my family and i'm communicating with my friends in commerce and speaking of whom alex Hitt is now here so ron could you kind of describe hey alex welcome describe a little bit uh, what we you and i just went through recording and putting things together into what we did with uh, Claude.ai. Oh, this is going to be kind of, I'll try to, it's going to be a mouthful. I'll try to condense, uh, condense or it. Just give your initial impressions. <laughs> well, you know, with this new uh, AI tool, Claude.ai, uh, what Mike did was, you know, he he did a recording. So he said, he, you know, I'm Mike Hayes. I want to introduce Ron Horry. So he asked, so he wanted, he asked Claude to listen to the input. And then ask Claude to, oh, Claude, please uh, combine the comments of Mike and Ron into a note to be sent to business people to learn more about uh, follow-up specifically. And then the response that came back from Claude was was mind-boggling. It was like talking to a business consultant, you know, one of a top-tier business consultant, just in the verbiage and the nuances that were added to that note. That was that was blown away. Well, credit where credit is due. Um, my friend Alex Hitt, uh, who we follow on OBN, is the one that introduced me to Claude. And thank you so much for that. Now, what, yes, thank you, uh, Alex. Absolutely. So, uh, and as I say to people, and for anyone listening, I started Chat GPT and I learned so much and researched so much, but I don't use Chat GPT. GPT. I don't love it as much as I love Claude. So that's what AI audibles is all about. Is It's like a coach or a quarterback calling in changes of plays and moving in this direction or that direction. That's what AI audibles are. So that would be an AI audible to go from chat GPT to go to Claude AI, thanks to Alex, keeping us on track. Now, what I would like to do with all of us now that we are using the Heartbeat platform, I would like to take our collective thoughts. And now that I know that we can do it, what I learned about Claude, I couldn't do it internally on the on the desktop and with the speaker because it was all working together in one engine of my, my MacBook Pro. But what I could do 
is I use this Zoom meeting and I use Claude on right here on my phone. So I recorded the output of, of our meeting here on my phone app and that worked perfectly it to Ron, Ron's words. And then what I did, I read the output, our collective output, and we can ask it to summarize it. I read it and then I asked Ron to comment on it. So let's do that to help us all explain Heartbeat and what we are doing on Heartbeat. And again, Heartbeat was introduced by Alex. So everyone knows the OBN events. And, you know, this is why we're all kind of gathering together. So does that make sense, guys? A way to, that we can do some outreach networking about Heartbeat? Everybody's shaking their head yes. So let me do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start. Claude, I'm going to ask you to speak up so that you can talk directly into Claude. Uh, Claude will pick up your voice. I will then ask it to generate an output and we will share it. So again, you can turn off your camera if you want. You can, if it helps you to think better, whatever, gather your thoughts. So let me do a little start, Claude, and then we'll do an introduction uh, of AI audibles and describing how everybody can benefit uh, with uh, Heartbeat and the platform. Here we go. Okay, Claude, I am now recording and I am holding a Zoom meeting. I'm going to ask the people on our Zoom meeting to give their thoughts on what we want to share in terms of the new platform called heartbeat.chat that we are now using. And everybody has experiences with a bunch of other platforms, but we wanna share why we are so excited about this particular platform called Heartbeat. Now, I am networking and I am following the leader because we all you know, follow different people that can help us, things we know, things we don't know. So I'd like to have, Alex, lead off the conversation uh, talking about Heartbeat and his discovery and different things that he's learned from other platforms like Mighty Networks, et cetera, so that we can introduce Claude to other people who may be using other platforms. So, Alex, why don't you start off the conversation and uh, we'll get it going. Sure. So I've looked at many different online community platforms. There's a lot of them out there. There's Facebook groups and Circle and School and Mighty Networks. I mean, there's a million different ones, but none of them had really the ability to grow a really, really large community made up of a lot of smaller micro or niche communities. And this is what Heartbeat allows us to do. It allows us to create a really, really large collaborative community of business owners all working together, but also be able to essentially have them in their own kind of like breakout rooms or in their own smaller groups within the whole or larger group. Um, because there is a necessity to have kind of a large group to have access to, to have a lot of people to do business with and to reach out to and, and, and to do lead generation from. But there's also a need to have closer knit communities, you know, build relationships in smaller groups. And that's what's really exciting about Heartbeat is that we can grow a community of 10,000 people and still not have it be overwhelming with too many things going on because we can divide it into those subgroups. So Heartbeat is a place for all business owners, all entrepreneurs, and uh, I'll leave it there. Okay, Dr. Greg Sanders, will you explain the uh, unique multimedia speed networking that's built right into the platform? Yeah, well, it, I'd, I'd like to explain it better, but it's new to all of us. So I, I, I understand the basic concept that usually in a human group, every group has a boundary and people like to network within their group. They're comfortable. They know those people. You know, it's like sitting in the cafeteria for high school. Everybody sits with their friends and you don't really sit in the wrong seat, you know, with with a, with a different group. Well, when you're in business, one of the ways that you expand your network is you have to get out of that natural reticence to get out of your group and to meet other people. And so we have a matchup feature, which is kind of amazing, really. It's a great idea that you take this group and this group that are different from each other and they may not know each other at all. And you mix and match people in, in those two different things. So I'm thinking right now, you know, we need to talk with Alex and you and Bree and everybody, like, how do we do it? But I think it might be good to have a kickoff meeting where both groups are together in the same virtual event. So you get a little bit of the flavor. You can, you know, meet the leaders of those two communities. What's the mission of the community? What kind of people are in each community? And then say, now we're going to go to a mix up match up type thing. And then the algorithm of the program will put people together at random, which it's all voluntary, I understand, but people can kind of meet people from other groups and expand their network as opposed to interacting with the same people from your same group again and again and again and again. So I think it's a, uh, I think it's brilliant. All right, Claude is still taking everything in. This is amazing. 
I hope it doesn't lose it. I'm going to ask Ron a different question before I go back to Alex, because Ron doesn't really know that much about Heartbeat. But what he does know about is being a testimonial for Alex's networking events, speed networking events. So, Ron, could you talk a little bit about Alex's speed networking events? Because that's one of the things that we are going to wrap around all of this and really make put everything together. You've been there, done that. So talk a little bit about the speed networking events, the 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 great leads that you get, and a little bit about that, if you would, quickly. Yes, thank you, Mike. So I've been on Alex's speed networking events, and one of the things that is impressive about what Alex has created is the ability to really leverage LinkedIn to attract literally over 100 people to one of his events. And he's always adding value. So with the speed networking, Alex uh, does brief, a very brief introduction periodically about who he is, what he does, and then he sets up breakout rooms. I was on a recent uh, speed networking, or I think it was a larger networking, but there were over a hundred people on that Zoom meeting. And then at the end, so they, it's all free, you know, there's no pitch, no promotions. Uh, although there's one, let's you might call it an infomercial, is Alex would invite people to another free platform, another community, the Heartbeat community, saying, hey, it's totally free. And what was really brilliant that Alex did was he would go live onto the Heartbeat site and uh, recognize people who joined during that Zoom meeting, saying, hey, John is, uh, has just joined, you know, Lucille has just joined, Frederick has just joined. So it has that really human touch. And then, of course, he's building his community on Heartbeat. So I think that combination of, you know, being able to create a large audience and then share a message about adding value to people that want to uh, learn more, be, be more effective in their networking and learning about this community and also spread, you know, um, champion the the goal of having a group of ten thousand or more people, and here we are at the very beginning. So, uh, it's it's an awesome strategy that Alex created. Okay, thank you. Now, in light of that, now I'm going to ask Alex to comment on the built-in networking that is built right into speed networking, that is multimedia speed networking. So there's so much to it, it's kind of, you can't keep track of all the benefits of it. But describe that for us if you would, Alex. So we have two ways that you can essentially connect with people very, very quickly, other business people, entrepreneurs, startup owners. One is through our weekly speed networking call on Monday, which Ron, which Ron was referring to, which is live on Zoom. And this meeting attracts 50 to 100 people week after week after week and really high quality, amazing entrepreneurs. Um, people always comment about, wow, this meeting is so great because of not only the size, but also the quality of the connections that I'm getting out of it. Then you're able to then connect with those people continuously through our Maxer community and the Heartbeat platform. And within the Heartbeat platform, there's a matchmaking feature with Everybody who joins our community, we can categorize them into specific groups. And then like Greg was saying, we can match them up based upon what groups they're a part of. An example of this would, if you're a podcaster, maybe you're a podcast host, we could connect you with podcast guests. If you are a coach and you want to connect with other coaches, we can connect you with other coaches. So there's a lot of custom customization that we can do with the matchmaking feature within the um, Heartbeat and Maxer community. And this is really what people want. I mean, this is what people are looking for. This is why people are going to networking events. And so people will make introductions for them. But to be honest, people don't have the time and people aren't really thinking about your business as much as you're, you know, as much as you're thinking about their business or maybe how much you would want them to think about your business. So this does things automatically for our community. So, um, you know, there isn't that reliance, right? There's more consistency in the amount of leads that you're getting every single week, other week or month through the Heartbeat app. So that's something that I'm really excited about is that what people are, we're giving people what they're looking for, for free. And we're doing it better than a lot of the companies out there who do it, who charge a high fee for it, right? I know there's a lot of networking organizations out there who say, if you want to meet people, you got to pay us, a you know, $200 a year or $1,000 a year. And we're doing all of that better than them for free. And it's really the concept of giver's gain, right? And if we can really provide the most value to the most people, then that's going to come back to us. And honestly, it really has. I'm already seeing already just here in the first week of our launch, we have over 100 people in there. There's a ton of excitement about it. It's fulfilling a need that's been in, I think, this online business networking community for a really long time. And I think people are really excited to see somebody kind of take the bull by the horns, say, hey, I'm going to make this my mission and I want everybody to come along with me and we can all grow this together and we can all really benefit by growing the collective size of all of our networks. So there really is a networking effect through it. And, uh, and uh, you know, all of us making these kind of small acts of 
Somebody said it in our community today, small acts of kindness make a big difference. All of our small efforts within the Maxer community can really exponentially grow this community in a really big way that benefits all of us. That's what I'm really excited about. Thank you, Alex. Now, folks, right here, right now, Claude is still recording. It's taking down every word that you've just heard. And this was a lot of information, am I right? Now, I want you to see this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask this group quickly to tell me what I should ask Claude to put out. Do you want Claude to put out a summary? Do you want Claude to put out a text of a webinar? Do you want Claude to put out um, you know, some an advertorial or a movie trailer? Now, once I have this, Claude has this, this is captured. I can go back to Claude and go, turn this into this, turn it into a 60 second video, turn it into a trailer, do this or do that. Now quickly guys, let me go around the horn. What would you want me to ask Claude to turn out from this recording that we just put in? A, a one minute sizzle video oh to, rec goodness. to okay. recruit uh, the, the storyboard or the script of a, of a one minute sizzle video for uh, inviting people or recruiting people for the Maxer community. Okay. All right. Uh, does that sound good? Okay. Now this is quite a challenge, you guys. I, I would I would liken this to creating a diamond, like the the way the Earth creates diamonds over thousands of years. What we're going to do is we're going to ask Claude to create a diamond right before your eyes to compress time and energy and brilliance and everything that is in our minds and our hearts all down into one diamond. So now I'm going to ask Claude to do that very thing right before your eyes, and then I'll share it with you. So here we go. We're waiting. Okay. Now, I should have asked it right then. I, I got to redo this part. Oh, here we go. Okay, Claude. Now we want you to summarize this. Wait one second. Here we go. Claude, we now want you to summarize all of this into a one minute, 60 second audio trailer that I can read right here live to this group. So here we go. Do it now. Thank you, Claude. Okay, now I hit this button right here. Now we'll also see exactly in real time exactly how long it takes Claude to do this. Here we go. You ready? Drum roll. I think it's going to be longer than 60 seconds. But here we go. I'll give it to you. Okay, here we go. And it says, here's this 60 second audio trailer summarizing the key points. This is my case. I'm so excited to share an amazing new platform called Heartbeat. This is revolutionizing online networking and community building. My good friend, Alex, and it says Harmosity, but it's actually Alex Hitt, has already built an incredible community. I like Harmosity. Keep Harmosity. Harmosity, okay. Uh, uh, leveraging Heartbeats. Now you're throwing off my time, Greg. Uh, leveraging Heartbeats unique features like multimedia speed networking events, niche community groups within a larger mastermind, an automated mastermind that connects you with new people outside of your circle. It's all about expanding your reach and opportunities through the power of relationship building. Heartbeat makes it easy and fun. Ryan, whoever that is, was able to get amazing leads. I guess that's you, Ron. That's my speech. Uh, joining Alex's community and providing so much value. Want to keep coming back week after week. I believe Heartbeat is truly the future of networking online. Come be part of our community for free and let's grow our businesses together through the power of meaningful connections. And I'm just going to add a PS. Greg added great things, but for some reason, um, AI just did not pick it up. Or it probably combined it, but it just didn't name you, Greg. But you, that, you get through in your own comments, so that's fine. But anyway, so that was it, guys. That's a little demonstration. Now, I own this. How many courses? How many shorts? How much information? How much content? How many texts? How many people can I reach out to? How many good ideas can I come for an ebook or a speech or reach out with any way that I want? I have this gold. I own this gold. You will own these gold nuggets. You will own these diamonds. And you know what? If you never want to do anything with AI, you don't have to. We will do it for you. 
So if you just want to do outreach networking, you're in the right place with this group. If you want to learn more about AI, and I will close it this way, I think this is super fun. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm posting my YouTube channel not to reach out to some giant audience. Rather, as I explained to Ron, this is for your AI free Publicity Express. Here's the way it'll work. If you will subscribe to my YouTube channel called AI Audibles, we're going to keep you, we're going to call in place for you to do outreach networking. But we also want you to comment. And if you will put in your name and put in your company, I will create a video answer for you, naming you and your company and about the question that you asked. I will do that for you. I will post that for you so that you can get instant video free AI Publicity Express on my YouTube channel. I will then also post that on the YouTube channel. So this is the way that we want to really work together. Get your questions answered. Learn AI about AI audibles. Get AI Publicity Express and promote all of us together, working together. OBN networking events, which really was the, the first on the totem pole. Uh, and then out of that and that gathering, that creation, uh, we created the Maxer community uh, to be able to focus on relationships, revenues, and results. And I am also teaching uh, my outreach business networking every week like this so that we can create content and include you in the content for outreach business networking. So that's a little overview. Any final thoughts, gentlemen? And we want to get the ladies in. So I'm reaching out. I'm reaching out because I always told my inventors, guys, if you don't listen to the women in your life, you're crazy. That's my line. Now, we do have Bree working with us very closely. Uh, we want to build these, these steps. We want to reach out to the ladies. We want to support them. And we want to teach men why it's very, very important to listen to the women. And they're really masterminds. They often control purse strings. So you you really literally are crazy. And I might do a a, uh, a segment of the show on, on that called You're Crazy If. If you believe this or if you believe that, you're crazy. So anyway, my, any comments, guys? I'm, I'm okay with the networking, but the therapy part, I don't know if I can go that far for the, with all the therapy. <laughs> okay. Alex? Um, yeah, no, great. Th thanks, Mike. I, I really appreciate it. I appreciate I, I think what you're doing with Claude and, and, and using this in a live networking setting, I think it's genius. And like you said, condensing all this information down into a diamond. I love that visual. And it's so true. And I just think this is a genius thing, Mike. So um, great job with it. It's really, it's really super fun. And I could see you doing this with other groups and more people and, and learning and making it better, better and better as you go. So I think it's really cool, Mike. I love it too. I'm just still insulted that it left me out. But other than that, no, right, no. I, I'm insulted that it left you out too. Because <laughs> Greg is actually my minister. Uh, <laughs> it, it, I, I claimed him as my minister. I adopted him as my minister. Uh, he's an amazing guy and a great, great friend. Uh, I don't know if he agreed to it, but I adopted him. Anyway. <laughs> so, uh, Ron Horry, what are your thoughts? Well, one thought is, uh, you know, like I mentioned it when you and I were on the Zoom, is that you know, there's this principle that's talked about in Think and Grow Rich about, let's say there's there's four of us here. So we each have our own mental mental um, mental picture. Right. But then also there's another mass. There's another mind. And uh, Napoleon Hill called it, you know, a third mind that that evolves when more than two people, when two people or more come together and share information. So there's a synergy that creates other other valuable ideas so i think the fact that here we're all here we're on the same page we have the same uh heart set you might say in terms of givers gain and also wanting to create new things new greater better and reach out to more people so i think you know that's just one my comment about uh this third mind idea what are your thoughts Greg, about where three are gathered uh, yeah, I mean, that's those are the words of Jesus. So I'm on board with that. Uh, you know, I mean, the Holy Spirit is really when people get together, there is a camaraderie there. There's a kind of a, a, a um, what's the word I want to bond between the people, their minds, uh, what they're trying to achieve. And I think it's brilliant. I love it.
All right. Okay, guys, it's late. Uh, it's 10 a.m. I apologize for keeping anybody over. I know you guys have busy lives, busy meetings. Thanks for joining me. I will be using this. I will be cutting. I will be a diamond master. I will be cutting up diamonds into little teeny diamonds and, and really being an alchemist. So I will be putting this out all over the place. Thanks for joining me, guys. And I look forward to seeing you on OBN events. Don't forget to go there. Uh, check into our calendars. You'll be able to meet with Greg. You'll go to amazing, not only networking events, but amazing masterminds. Uh, as well. So thanks for joining us, guys. Join, join us again. For everybody, I'm Mike Hayes. Thanks for joining us. Happy Friday, everybody. Okay, take care. Adios. Great job, guys. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Mike. We'll see you later. Make sure to post uh, the video in the Heartbeat community. I'd love to see it. So you can okay. post your looms right in there and it integrates right into the platform. It's awesome. Yeah, I can learn how to do that. So I'll yeah. be working on that. You just message me. So, all right. Talk to you yeah. later. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye, Ron. Thanks for being here, pal. Thanks, Mike. You bet.